Welcome back to Barbecue with Greg. Let's put that meat on the grill. Let's get started. Hello there, barbecue friends. We're up early in the morning. It's a rainy morning. We're going to be cooking up a brisket. Now, I fired up the master belt here. The reason why I'm using the master belt is to get that nice gentle heat from the bottom of the charcoal hopper into the burn chamber. Now I added a couple chunks of smoke wood here toward the bottom of the charcoal hopper just to get a little bit of smoke at the beginning of the cook. Now how I like to do it, I like to put my brisket here on the shelf and I put a couple trays here underneath like that just to catch any drippings that's going to eventually come off this brisket. But to get started, the first part of this cook, I'm going to put water in here. You know what? I'll fill this up again, put it in this tray too. Now the reason I like to use the master belt for a brisket, the pellet grill doesn't give me an upper shelf large enough so that I can put a tray under there to catch those drippings. A day like today with it rain and I don't know what the weather's going to do the rest of the day, the kettle grill or the Kamado could take me some time to dial in the proper temperature. And this is easy. I just turn it on, set the temperature, and go. Let's bring out the brisket, see what we got to do. Now here's the brisket. This is about a 10-pound brisket. I got this from my local butcher, Medell Brothers Quality Meats. And I can see through the bag here, it looks like he's already trimmed this up pretty nicely. Hopefully, I just opened the bag and it's ready for the grill. Doesn't look like too much to do from this side. <laughs> looks like this is pretty trimmed up. What I think I'm going to do is just cut this off. Maybe I'll just cut a little more fat off of this. And it should be ready for the grill. All right. Let's start off with our seasoning here. I'm going to use our meat church seasoning here. The holy cow because that's what I have on hand now we're gonna want to put a generous amount because this is a big piece of meat and that's it this is ready for the grill All right, we're going to set that on the shelf there with the fat cap up. Right over our trays. Now I'm going to use a master belt temperature probe. And shove that into the thicker side of the meat here. And there we have it. Close our lid. Now the brisket, it's a tough meat, so cooking it too fast at too high a temperature is going to make it really difficult to chew and eat. So rendering it at that lower temperature for a longer period of time is going to get everything to soften up. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different with this cook, so I'll show you step by step what I'm doing. I'll see you when we come back. Okay, we're now about two and a half hours into this cook. I'll show you I hooked up. The master built to the app on my phone here. We're running a steady 250 degrees. If I go down here, shows me both the ambient temperature of the grill, the red line, and then the temperature of the meat, the orange line. You can see we're getting that nice gradual increase happening. Now we'll open it up, take a look, see what we got. But here's the part where we start to deviate from your typical brisket cook. Thank you. 
All right, the meat's starting to smell really nice. You can see our water's been boiling here. All in all, everything's looking pretty good. Now what I did, I chopped up some onions. I'm going to put half in this tray, half in that tray. You can see the fat's going to start dripping off this meat into these trays, so I'm getting prepared for that. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. All right, we'll push these trays back under the meat. Close the grill. All right, we're going to keep this cook going. I'll probably check back around the four-hour mark, show you what's happening. We'll see you on the next step. Okay, we just reached the five-hour mark here on this cook. Here's where the cook's going to take a slightly different direction than what you're used to seeing. According to my app here, we're five hours, ten minutes. We got an interior temperature on that probe of 145 degrees. Let's open it up, take a look, see what we got. All right. We can see even at 145, our liquids are starting to come out of here. The fat's starting to render. We got a bit of a bark starting to form on the outside. So all those seasonings kind of baked in there. We can see some of the drippings starting to fall down into the trays. So that's going to continue to happen. So just over five hours at that lower temperature, like I was saying, just we achieved some of that gentle cooking in order to get some of the meat tissues to be nice and tender. We worked on that exterior crust. Now I'll show you what I'm doing next. I got some cotton gloves underneath the rubber gloves here in order to handle that hot meat. We're going to pull our probe out of here. Now take our brisket. Now what I'm going to do is slice this right down the middle. Just going to put half back on the grill for now. Now we're going to take this half and just slice it all the way down in like three eighths to half inch slices here. All right, here we have it all sliced up. I'm going to put all that into this tray. All right, just for now, we're going to slide that tray back in. Do the same with our second half. Slice that up. can see our smoke did its job on this. Now I'm going to get some aluminum foil, cover this up. Seal everything in. Do the same with this one. And just to kind of help monitor things, I'm going to put a temperature probe. Try to stab some of the meat there. All right, let's close this up. 
All right, we're going to let this go at least another three hours. Just let this cook away at 250 degrees. The probe might not be as accurate because I just pushed it in as one of those slices of meat. I could just feel a little resistance. So, so it's just going to be a guide. Well, I find by doing this, slicing it up and letting it, the fat's going to continue rendering out of that meat. It's just going to go in the tray and it's just going to get steamed with its own juices. We did work the first five hours to get a bit of a texture on the outside. So you get that texture and some of that flavor, the seasoning that baked in. Now it's going to soften up a little bit because it's inside all that liquid and the, and the steam. So in the end, it's going to be a really good bite. So in about three hours or so, I'll come back. I'll show you what we got. Okay, we are now eight hours into this cook. And I'm going to call this cook done. Here we are just under eight hours. You can see we maintain that 250 degrees for the whole cook. I unplugged our temperature probe at one point shortly after I talked to you last simply because it started reading off the chart and I really didn't need it anymore. So let's take some slices off. We'll get ready for the taste test. All right, let's open it up. See what we got here. Just going to pull this temperature probe out of here. <laughs> That's a good sign. And slide this tray forward. Let's take our tin foil off here. Oh, if you can only smell this, you can see all that extra liquid that rendered off there. What I'm going to do is pull some of the flat of the brisket onto the plate here. And we're going to take a couple pieces of the, the point in here, the fattier part of the brisket. Oh, it's just pulling apart here. All right, let's put this aside for the taste test. Well, here we have it. Eight hours cook on this, 10 pound brisket, 250 degrees through the whole cook. Time for the taste test. Mm. Just pulls apart. This is the flat of the brisket. I taste that original seasoning that we put on the outside. Of course, the beef flavor of that meat's so good. Getting the brisket from my local butcher really saved on all that trimming. If you're in a barbecue and at some point you're going to want to cook a brisket, go to your local butcher. See if you can get it trimmed up like that. If you're in my area, go see Greg Medell over at Medell Brothers Quality Meats. His name's easy to remember. Well, let's try the point end of the brisket. Just pulls apart. Oh man, so good. Mmm. Well, if you enjoyed this cook, I appreciate you smash that like button. If you want to see more cooks like this, click that subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Barbecue with Greg. Thanks for watching Barbecue with Greg. One of those barbecue cooking shows people watch on YouTube sometimes.